Okay, today's video is how to do a oil change on a 2002 VW Beetle convertible. Quick, we got 5W40 oil. It takes 4.4 quarts, it says. And we got a Fram 20,000 mile protection um, ultra synthetic 3600 oil filter. This all together was about $35 at Walmart. First thing we got to do is get this thing up on some ramps. Now, if you don't have ramps, these are pretty good Rhino ramps. Put a link to them, maybe. What you're going to want to do is make sure that your car is not going to hit them. Um, I got them because they work best on the Prius here. But it looks like they're going to work on here, too. When you're working on the car, you're going to want to pull that up just so it doesn't um, fall on you or roll back. The next one we have is we have to open the hood. Just pull this lever right here and it doesn't feel like this one's popping. So what we need is somebody to hold this while we go up front. So what I did was I jammed a bottle in here because I didn't have anybody to hold that for me. So you really gotta find, it's probably this thing needs to be replaced. Let's start at this. You pull this and you lift so you can get in here. This is where you add the oil. This is where you check the oil. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna pull that up. We're gonna open this. And then we're gonna check out what's going on underneath. So I'm looking in here to find where the oil filter is and it looks like this hasn't had an oil change in a while since it's 2023. We gotta change. So the oil drain plug is right there. So we could do it without removing this, but it would be messy. So it looks like we gotta take off that, this, 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 kind of a bunch of stuff around here. Let's see what tools we're gonna need. This whole shield's gonna come off. It looks like somebody's used some bad tools here before. For these large ones in the back, it's a 16 millimeter. They definitely don't make this nice and easy for you. It's actually pretty terrible. This is a 13 millimeter. Okay, so for our first bit of fun, this first screw that I aim for is spinning in the thing. Now, I'm probably the first person to ever take this off or actually the second person, because it only has 15,000 miles on it. And this is just annoying. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some needle nose pliers in there and hope that that holds it. I got some needle nose vice grips in there and I'm gonna try and hold it and do it at once like this. Okay, we got it, but I'm not gonna put this one back in, unfortunately. We're gonna have to use something else. So we gotta take off these torques next. There's a few around the edge here. And then maybe we might have to take off this big one right here. I started this oil change project yesterday, but I couldn't find my triple square set. So I went on Amazon and I bought this triple square set right here so that we can test it for taking off the bottom pan. There's three of these bolts and I don't know why they couldn't have just put normal things in. Probably for this particular reason to stop you from changing your oil. Anyhow, check the link down below and uh, buy it on Amazon. It's $13, maybe 14 I don't know. Let's see what's inside this little kit here. The big reveal here on the Volkswagen. Check it out. We will find out what size fits in this car. Next we got a bunch of torques. Oops. 
Looks like that's all of them. Now we have one, two, three of these triple square things. This says it's an M8. It looks like an M8 is going to be the one. Okay, so this is an M8 triple square. And look, it just comes right off when you have the right tool. There's three of these. One, two, and the third one down here. I got all three of those out, and the tray comes right out to reveal a small oil leak. Now this car's only got 15,000 miles on it, so we have revealed the oil drain plug on the back here, which um, looks like it's pretty big. Yeah, that's like gotta be a 19. And on the front of the engine, you can see right up here, the oil filter. Hopefully, oh yeah, it's loose. Um, it comes off easy. So we got a 19 millimeter socket. We're just gonna check and see if that's it. That is it. Um, Okay, we loosened it. We don't want to drip it on the driveway because we didn't put the pan down yet. We got our oil drain pan down here now and we're gonna just loosen that up so that we can get it with our fingers. We're gonna hopefully not drip it, drop it into the bucket. But sometimes you drop it in the bucket. That's usually a bad day. Make sure you have your container in the right spot. And there we go. Oil is a little dark. It's been three years. While we're under here, let's check and see what we think the oil leak is coming from. It looks like it's coming from right up there, if I had to guess. So I'll have to see what that is. That looks like it's a uh, a sensor. It looks like the leak might be coming from this sensor right here. If I had to, if I had to guess. So I stuck my arm up in here and twisted that, and it, there's no real great way to do it. Um, if you're wearing a glove, your glove gets wet. If you're not. So then you're gonna have to wipe down all this afterwards because it's just set up like a terrible plan. It looks like I got the wrong oil filter. That one's a 2835. And I bought a 3600. Whoever did the oil change on this last seemed to have put the wrong filter in, but it did work, so. So it turns out that this is the correct one. Okay, we're gonna throw this one right in there and it's gonna go. So you wet the uh, oil gasket with some oil just to give it some lube. You don't have to tighten it super tight, you just have to get it snug. So you get it right up to the snugness and then you'll know when it stops. There we go. We're gonna reinstall this in reverse. So, we'll slide that right in there. We're going to take uh, the three screws that are annoying and put them in first. I'd recommend, if you're gonna keep this car for a long time, put a different one in so that you don't have to look for this tool every time. But, otherwise, um, don't forget the triple square. So, I'm gonna suggest you find the the one that's not the front one first, because it's kind of a pain to get to. And then do the front ones once you have that one lined up. Because the bracket's not in the right place. Next, we're gonna do the uh, 16 millimeters. Next you're, next, you're gonna get this 13 millimeter, which is really a pain to get started. Um, I stuck my hand in from the back and pushed it into place. 
it might be one of those ones that you would do before you put up the back one. Okay, do one last check. Make sure you got in all the screws that were there. Um, we got everything in, it's tight. So we're ready to put a whale in. We're up top again. We got ourselves some mobile one. Um, it says 4.4 quarts this is five quarts so we got to do a little math here okay we put in four quarts we're going to take it off the ramps here and uh check the oil once we take it down so i did four and a half quarts started it up and it's perfect right at the top